Yes, isn't it wonderful, absolutely wonderful, when you think about the world and the global world where in one point, in one location, something is not valued at all, seen as countryside something that is old-fashioned. And in another place, the same very product or the same very thing is absolutely valuable. I met a person in Finland 2008 who has a company that is absolutely established on that very notion of having something somewhere that nobody values and bringing it to the place where that very item is very much valued. There was a man that she met in India who was selling nomad carpets, which is a woolen carpet made out of hand. And the man was crying on her arms and saying, I have no market for these old fashioned carpets anymore in India. Nobody is buying them. Everybody goes to IKEA or other multinational brands. And my traditional carpets are not selling anywhere. She goes and looks at his carpets and gets an idea that by altering them to the Scandinavian taste, Scandinavian colors, those could sell in Finland. So off she goes and um, brings in a very famous Finnish designer who designs a, a a kind of like a print, not print, but a handmade thing to the carpet and goes with that model to this man and asks if he could do it on his traditional nomad carpet, which he did. Um, it's a woolen carpet, probably one and a half meters and a meter size. And that very first design of those carpets won 2008 a Finnish design prize and it's not only a design that is valuable in the sense of its price and among the ivory tower designers of Finland it also sells in Finland so now she has a several different type of of um, prints or, or, or different type of designs on that very idea of the nomad carpet and the carpets sell over 500 euros per piece and people go crazy about them. The man in India didn't have a market of his carpets in his local place, which is very common in any society that's developing, that the old fashioned traditions are disappearing and everything new is in fashion. On the other hand, in developed countries like in this case Finland or Europe, these very things are valuable because they have either disappeared or they are novelty in our markets. The man in the very beginning of the story thought that he needs to go away from his business and start something new. He didn't need to do that. We are selling those things in Finland now. His son, who was a migrant worker in one of the big cities in India, returned back to the home village and is now doing his father's very business and in, in cooperation with his father making those carpets. On top of giving a profession for two people, at least, in India, we are also saving an old tradition of nomad carpets. So there is a benefit of giving employment by finding a market for diminishing market, uh, saving a traditional um, design or a traditional uh, handicraft in India, and on top of that, diminishing migrant worker problems because this is home-based industry that doesn't need people to migrate from their home village to big cities. Three social impacts on one business model.